So I thought I would take a second to show you what this app is. It's called iAnnotate and basically it's a PDF reader but it links to um, Dropbox or Box.net whatever you use and within it I have all these different folders as you see this publications one has my awakes books kingdom ministries public watchtower study whatever I just made folders and put them all in there so um, just by way of example here's all the KM's if I back out and go into like the watchtower study editions there's those or say I went into a public edition and I wanted to pop open this one just touch it pops it open you get all of the you know the full color pictures all that stuff um, but I already have a couple documents open just to show you down here you can see I have all these different tools highlighters um, annotation circle or freehand underlining um, stamps whatever I want to do and then if you look up here I have different tabs it's kinda of hard to record and do this but I have different tabs. This is like a watchtower that I had studied a couple weeks ago. And these little bubbles here are actually where I put the scriptures. And so whenever I touch it, it'll pop up and show me what the scripture is, which is nice because then it's out of the way until, until I touch it. And um, obviously, you know, I can scroll through the rest of the study. And then I put a KM here too, just to show you what the KM looks like. You can see it's, it's a full-size regular KM. Uh, if I want to pinch zoom it, I can shrink it, or I can get it, you know, as big as I want, whatever. And then I can lock it back into place so that it doesn't move while I'm while I'm doing that. If I want to um, download something, I really like this. Any PDF that you want. So if there's like some PDF for your work or whatever, and you know the, the website it's at, you can go into web download, and it pulls up a browser. And so within this browser, you can put whatever address you want, like wherever the PDF is. So in this case, if I did um, jw.org and I just hit go, it'll go to jw.org and, and you saw what this looked like. And I can just click on any of these, like say I want to download this April 1st one. If I touch on that, it's so hard to do from the side. Oh, <laughs> it's already downloading it. I guess I downloaded it twice. So it'll download it and um, then that's that. And so now I have that one here in my um, in my downloads folder. You can see it's um, processing it right now. But anyway, so that's iAnnotate. It's a pretty cool app. I like it a lot. And um, there's of course tons of other PDF style readers. Um, iBooks is pretty nice for just straight reading a document because it makes it into like a book format. But I don't really like it for um, for something I'm going to study because the underlying feature in it isn't as good. But what's kind of cool about it, you know, you can just go through your PDF like this, so it's a little bit more similar to a book. But then also, um, of course, you can skip to any page you want down here, but that doesn't matter. The one thing I like about this over I annotate is the view that you can click here, and it'll show you all of the pages of the document. So you can easily just jump to whichever one you know you want and it'll go straight to that page and of course you can print it and you can search for things if you wanted to search for you know the word Jesus and you type that in it'll show you all the occurrences of the word Jesus in here and then it, you can just go straight to that so it's kinda nice you can bookmark things and do all that so anyways those are a couple of my um, favorite PDF readers of course, there's other things like Kindle. I have the Kindle app on here, which is nice. And um, TED, I don't know if you ever watch any of the, the TED conference videos, but they're pretty good. But um, anyways, just thought I would show you that. And of course, there's games. And oh, you know what else I should show you since I have you here? <laughs> A captive audience, which you probably already have I've already stopped watching, is um, iTeleport, which is a remote VNC app so if I want to go into like say my Windows computer I can go straight here oops you don't want to see that pregnant people losing weight and um, you can see it's full on Windows 7 and um, you know can completely control that from here which is nice for those times whenever um, you want to get into something that's strictly on Windows from my iPad so, as you can see, that's something that I have available, and it's kind of nice to have. And you can put as many different computers in it as you want. I have my kids. Um, I have his school computer, 
in here. So if he ends up having any problems, I can come in and I can mess around with his school computer. And uh, of course, I have my Mac in here too, so that I can remotely access and control my Mac. And um, it's just a really nice app. So I'm not trying to sell you an iPad or whatever. I just wanted to show you that um, that I annotate app, but then it kind of I'm not capable, I guess, of just showing you one thing. So that was it, and I will talk to you soon.